My friends, the world is not the way it used to be. And the world is not the way that many people still think it is. Where's the innocence that we grew up in? Where is the longing or the looking forward to the future? the beauty and things and, and um, opportunities and possibilities for many, many people, and especially the young people, that's not really there anymore. Because when you look at the world, it seems like that evolution has come to a halt. We see wars again. Well, we've always seen them, but there's they just keep coming right now. And there is division. The there is the pending financial collapse. There is the whole health issues that so many people are actually dying. A lot more than normally, if you look at the statistics and the people who are doing a lot of investigation the politics, it's just one big battle of them versus us, you know, that party versus that party, right versus left, the immigration that's happening, people flooding the country here and receiving things from the government that the people who have lived here for many, many years and are... are um, established here, they don't even get that. There is a division going on, whether you follow it or not, or whether you want to engage in it or not. If we really look at the world, it's a mess. And I don't think anybody can disagree with that. A number of years ago, I started seeing that it felt like we had gone too far. It felt like we had come to the point of no return. And I know that sounds very negative and uh, dark. And it does sound like that if there is not, um, if there's no light at the end of that tunnel, if there is not some kind of a possibility or future that we can look forward to creating. And there is. There really, really is. And we have to take some action to create that world. And I'm not necessarily talking about action out there. We have done it. And a lot of good things are happening. I'm not denying that. <clears throat> but we need a shift in consciousness because the way this dualistic world functions cannot be reversed with that same energy. We've all heard Einstein say, you know, you can't change, um, change things with the same consciousness that created it. And we keep doing that and again and again, and we point fingers and it's them and it's not us. And then they say, it's you and it's not us. It's insane. We literally have to stop this. We have to look at it and see it for what it is. I keep hearing people complaining about what this the government is doing and this um this company is doing and this and that and there's this like rah, 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 rah. when you take a step back you can actually see what is happening and then you realize that your rah 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 is just adding to it there is a way out and this is really what I want to share more about. And I already have shared a lot on my YouTube videos. But I want to see if I can expand it so more people 
can relate to that and connect with that if it is also their truth inside. I'm not trying to reach anybody who still wants to do that in the world, who still wants the experiences of duality and uh, winning and losing and competing and all that stuff. There are many, many, many of us who are done with that. We've simply had enough. And then there is a tendency to not know what to do. And that is because we are not fully connected to that inner flow, that inner movement, that inner wisdom that does know. And this inner wisdom is not going out there to fight or to judge, or to blame, or to compete and compare, that does not happen here. The step that we need to take is to choose first, to not engage in it anymore. And that's not easy. There's a lot of buildup, emotional, anxiety and trauma and fear and judgment and loneliness that lives in us and that energy that is still alive in that way that is wants to, what wants to go out and fight and judge and be right about it you can see it in the people who go out in these big demonstrations there's a lot of them who just they just do it peacefully but then there's this crowd that doesn't know how to do it because there's so much built up trauma still inside that has not been liberated or healed yet. But what we need to do is become that presence that we already are. We don't need to look for a solution because in my experience, there is not a real solution out there. But there is a solution, and you are that solution. It's you. It's your being. It's your presence when it's connected to your divine flow, to your divine guidance, to your divine presence and stillness. It is amazing that when you rest in and as that, things start changing because this energy and presence is the only true power. But only when we disengage from the dualistic power. As long as we still engage in that, we're not here where the solution already exists. And it is a process. It's not something that happens overnight, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't do it or be it. It's hard to disengage when you feel you have been mistreated and something is not un is, has been unfair. It's very hard not to engage in that. But that's where a lot of the work lies for those of us who resonate with that message. This is not for people who want to go out and fight and say, no, you know, it's not for those. They have a different mission, maybe a different purpose. I don't know, but I know for me, it's so solidly clear that it's becoming that stillness, that presence, that I, the I of each one of us when we rest back in that and make ourselves available for that, that's when you actually become an outlet for it. And it does go out into the world. It does do something. It, it starts dissolving that dualistic frequency that is not it's not real because it's not coming from the divine like this energy does when you it's like you you sit in the 
in the, at the portal of your own I, your own divinity. And it's a felt experience. It's not here, like I always say. It's it's felt. It's when you're there, you go, oh. it's like a deep breath or a click. It's as if as if there's just this relief. It's like, oh. And then stay there. Then you sit at the portal and you make yourself available for the, the frequency of oneness, which is what is the only true thing. The duality is all happening in the mind. So we need to get out of that and learn to be present with the emotions that want to battle. We need to learn to bring the presence to that war first because if we can't bring it here, you can be sure you can't bring it out because you're not letting it out. Your energy is engaged in battling. It's not engaged in being a portal for the peace and the earth that we all want to experience. And we know it's there because we can feel a longing and the possibility for that. That's my invitation right now. Thank you for listening.